Um, in our last lessons, um, we've worked on post, about, archive, uh, but the contact page um, we are yet to work on. So that's what we'll be working on um, in this lesson. So this is what the contact page should look like. So we are going to be recreating that. Okay, so I am going to uh, make a new file and uh, this file called this contact.html and we are going to make a new CSS file and call that contact.css file. Uh, copy everything that we have in archive and um, paste it in our contact page. Change references uh, from archive to contact. Change the CSS to contact.css. And also, um, the active, we want to get rid of that from archive and paste it in contact. And um, now we want to delete what we have uh, within our rights column. So get rid of these articles like that and change um, archive so it says contact me. Okay, so let's see what we've done. Click on here, we have our contact me um, displayed. So we could add more things. I'll add a leading text and a horizontal rule, for example. So within uh, the column MD8, uh, we're going to make a new div, a class, and we'll say lead. And we'll put some dummy text in there. Okay. And below that, we have a horizontal rule. All right, so let's um, save this and preview. Reset, so that's what we have. So the next thing we want to do is add um, some uh, social media stuff, LinkedIn and so on. So my Twitter, um, I put a link and add the link to your Twitter account here. So mine is uh, twitter.com forward slash Kingsley Jama. Okay, so now we say at Kingsley Jama. So this is what you click on to take you to my or your Twitter account. So that's it. So when we click here, it takes us to our Twitter account, but it does that on the same um, tab. We want it to open up on a new tab. To do that, so we say target underscore blank. So now when we click here, it, it opens up uh, on a new tab, leaving uh, the old tab there. Okay, so uh, the next one is LinkedIn, then we have GitHub. So we'll do uh, the same thing here. So it's a P tag, uh, LinkedIn, and a link, which is, which is this. We're going to LinkedIn page. So if you don't have a LinkedIn page, either make one or you don't have to do this. You could put other social media that you have. Um, so for me, I'm going to add my LinkedIn homepage URL. Okay, and the link we want um, people to click on and uh, it's something that says uh, follow me on LinkedIn. Okay, again, we'll click on this. It takes us to the same page, um, reset on the same tab. So we want to change that. So copy this and paste it here. And we want to do the same for GitHub. So GitHub is like that. Link to my GitHub is pretty straightforward. So it's GitHub dot com slash Kingsley dash Ijama. Okay. And as before, um, I want to say follow, follow me on GitHub. Okay. And that's it. Uh, before I click, I'm just going to copy target and put it here. So now when we click, it takes us to linked um, GitHub on a new tab. So that's it. Um, we could add a horizontal rule to end that section. So if we have a look, 
that's what we've done so far and that's what we are replicating so we could work on uh, the form sending message so we have a new class a row and what follows a row column so we add a column here so the reason I've done this I want to say column MD 9 9 so I don't want to have the text going all the way from left to right so it's going to be um, 9 instead of 12 so send me a message so that's what we have which is this so we now have to put in um, some text fields so just below our head 3 add the paragraph add uh, a label for screen readers so it's always a very good idea to have um, screen readers only and it's worth um, researching to find out the benefits okay so um, that's it so now that we've done our label the next thing we want is an input type so this is a text so we can add the class from bootstrap which is form control you pretty much need this every single time uh, placeholder should read your name and we want this field to be required and we want the cursor to be on it okay so that, that's, what, that's what we've done so we have um, we could copy this and change some things inside so change the label that's your message we don't need input field we need a text area okay give it a, a class the same form control class um, also placeholder which is your message give it our own ID and required okay so that's the text area there so the last thing we want is um, our submit button so input type is submit and there are no placeholders here so the value is what we need so send message uh, the class is button and it is a type of button primary okay so there we go so we've completed uh, the HTML part so we could use some CSS to spice things up a bit so if you go into contact the CSS the first CSS is for uh, H3 so we want to push everything above uh, by zero pixels so remove any default styles and we want to uh, push everything below by 20 pixels and one more thing that we've done before is target our text area and just set the height to 100 pixels so that's it for this lesson and i'll see you in the next lesson